What's going on everybody? My name is Noble and in today's video we're going to be talking about canceling or stopping your Xbox subscription. Now I don't know about you guys but money's been a little bit tight and we have so many subscriptions guys. I have, I actually have no idea how much we're spending but it's well over $100 a month on crap that we don't even use. So I'm obviously a gamer. I make a lot of gaming content but that doesn't mean that I like money coming out of my account just whenever we forget about it you know I like to know when it when it's coming out and that's why I always purchase my subscription and then immediately cancel it so that I don't get charged again until I'm ready to put the money out there so we're gonna be doing this two ways we're gonna do it on the PC as well as on your Xbox just so that you know how to do it for yourself whether that be for your sake or maybe your kids being a pain in the butt and you need to cancel their subscription to teach them a lesson whatever the case is this is how you do it. So first off, we're gonna head over to our PC and do that first. So you're gonna to wanna to head to xbox.com as we have here. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're signed in. You guys can see that we're signed in here on the top right. And you're gonna click on that icon. Now from here, you're gonna click on my Microsoft account. All right, so once you've got that at the very top, you're gonna to have your subscriptions. And right now you guys can see, uh, I have Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, until October 5th and we're going to change that so we're gonna click on manage and that's gonna bring you to this page now I've got my card here obviously you guys can't see the number you don't want to mess with any of that anyways there's two ways that you can stop the money from coming out of your account automatically and that is number one to turn off auto renew which you can go ahead and click and then it's gonna try to stop you from doing that and you can continue on to turn off auto renew that will simply mean that you'll have your subscription, but you won't be charged again until you decide to. Now, if we go back, you can also cancel your subscription. You're gonna click on this, and once again, it's probably gonna bring you to the same page, trying to keep you here, and then just click on cancel subscription. Now, it's important to note because people freak out about this and they don't wanna lose money. Just because you cancel your subscription immediately after you pay for your subscription does not mean that you'll lose access. You're still going to have access to your subscription for as long as you paid for and then at that point once you cancel it that's when the payments will stop and you won't have that subscription anymore so you don't have to worry about losing out on time that you haven't used you're still going to have your full subscription but it's just not going to charge you for the next time that you're supposed to be charged now that's the way that you do it on pc or on your cell phone or tablet i get so many questions about why don't you do this on phone or tablet it's the exact same thing open up your web browser do exactly what i just showed you it's the exact same thing. So uh, after that, we're gonna go ahead and close the internet and actually do this on the Xbox and actually do it for real so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So from your Xbox, if you want to cancel your subscription or stop automatic payments, you go up to your profile uh, that you've got here and you go over to settings. Now you can reach it from the top here with this brand new uh, Xbox layout or you can click on your home button, head to your icon and head down to settings. Either way that you want to do that, that's totally fine. Now from your settings, you're going to go to account and you're going to go to subscriptions. Now, once this is on, this is going to show you your active subscriptions. Again, uh, credit card information is going to be on here. Obviously mine is blocked out, but as you guys can see, we've got the exact same thing. Actually, we don't have the exact same thing. That's a little bit weird. It's off by a day here. That's totally fine. Not important. So we have our active subscription with recurring billing on and our next charge is in October. So we're gonna click on this. Now you could change your plan, although if you're buying directly from Xbox, unfortunately, I don't know why they did this, but you can only buy one month at a time now. What I recommend doing is buying at least three month codes from Amazon, and that comes out to be a little bit cheaper for you. It saves you a little bit of money, and you can put those in, uh, in through the store with your code and you'll get three months instead of having to pay on a month to month basis, which does end up being more expensive. So if you want to turn off recurring billing, all you have to do is click on here. And of course, like I said, it's going to say the exact same thing. Are you sure you want to turn off your recurring billing? You'll lose access to your stuff. But like I said, although you're turning off recurring billing, you're still going to have access to everything till the end of your subscription. So as you guys can see, we'll lose access on October 4th totally fine and uh, so you would click on yes and that would turn off automatic billing now if we go back uh, at the very bottom here 
you can click on cancel subscription. That's what I'm going to do right now just to show you guys exactly what it is and so that you don't have to be afraid of it or anything but we're gonna click on cancel subscription and then once again it says the exact same thing you will lose your game pass ultimate subscription on october 4th that means even if i cancel right now which i'm going to do i will still have access to xbox game pass ultimate until the end of the subscription that i paid for so we're gonna click on yes and it says you've successfully canceled your subscription your subscription will end at the end of the subscription that I just finished paying for. So we're gonna close that out. Now we don't have to worry about recurring billing or anything else because our subscription is canceled. Now that doesn't mean that you'll lose access to anything. I just like knowing when money is coming out. So I purchase my subscriptions and then I automatically cancel them so that I'm not charged again because I forget about something where something came up and then all of a sudden I'm out 50, 60, 70 bucks, depending on whatever my subscriptions are because I forgot that I had subscriptions on whatever certain day. So hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, I'm doing this across everything. So if you guys need to know how to cancel something, let me know, I will add it to my list. But I've got Netflix, I've got Hulu, I've got PlayStation, I've got all of these subscriptions that have been taking away so much money from my account that I don't even know where the money's going or coming from. So I'm going to be canceling everything. If you guys want me to cover anything, let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next video.